But uh, Chaos opting not to go. Play. The cloud. <laughs> yeah, Cloud is. Yeah. I might be the best, but he's. He you're never stressed when you're playing Cloud. <laughs> I think you are off stage. But that's a matter of. That's a, it's something I've noticed. Not every player is as good as. How, how, how do I put this? Not every player approaches edge guarding the same way. True. Ooh. That's very true. Because, like, I oh. actually, you know, I took a cue from False. If someone's off stage and I have the tools to do it, I'm not letting him back on the ledge if I have the opportunity to. Right. So I have a different mentality there. Some people would rather just stay on stage and, you know, try to pick options to fight against or go for ledge trumps, but yeah, people have different I mean, mentalities here. I don't right. know if, if Chaos has a different Marth uh, play style. He might not opt to go off stage as often, and that could play into Vex's hands here. Yeah, and I have seen, like, I just, you just saw them, they both went really, Cloud went really deep to get Climb Hazard to the ledge, and mm. Marth followed him. Get the space back there. And Vex was able to charge just enough limit to get back. Yeah. That being said, Chaos, you know, building up quite the lead here. Yeah. Yeah, he didn't go, like, he didn't go for a vi Ooh, Ooh, I love the Dolphin Slash out of right shield. Right out of shield, yeah. Great option when you get the tipper. That can kill at high percents. Ordinarily, you just use it because it's a fast option. I believe yeah. it's either frame four. It's frame three or four. I'm not sure. But, ooh, down smash, smash down. down draw him in. Ah, great, great. He uses the... Gets the two frame with a long-lasting hitbox. Yep. And recovering low is just like... It's a game of chicken. You have to wait <laughs> for your opponent to move first. Pretty much. Well, that I'm sure Vex was, like, watching. The idea is that he, have, yeah. he was watching the whole time. When's the, when's the optimal time to uh, put my down air out? Even if I don't spike. Ooh, great up smash out of shield there. Was not perfectly spaced. Uh, fast option. Able to get the kill out of shield. So, you know, we've got a 50%-ish uh, lead here, but Vex does have limit on line. Yeah. And, it, and the, the different... The buffs from limit also can mess with your combos. That's true. Actually, that might be a topic I want to get on when in between matches. But, <laughs> but the big, basically, the big mobility changes is that Cloud's run speed increases and air speed also increases. Yeah. Fall speed as well, so he doesn't die off the top as easily. But Ooh. unfortunately, uh, it looks like a miss input there because he had the first uh, hit of side be come out. Yeah, but yeah. Unfortunately, Vex will. Uh, Vex will. Uh, it looks like an SD. So we'll go down in a 1 0 hole against Chaos. Um, the point I was, that I wanted to make actually was that. Um, uh, every now and again, I just you know I, I, brew, I browse Smashboard and people you know talk about what kind of buffs they'd like to see. Right. And people often don't realize that a lot of the combo ability that a character has is not just dependent on their frame data and their moves, but also their mobility. Absolutely. Yeah. Like I'm trying to see people like uh, um, you know, buff Puff's air speed, and suddenly you can do a lot more scary things. Or yeah. Uh, you want to buff Palutena's air speed? Suddenly, uh, down throw up air is guaranteed forever, and everyone can die at 100. You know, percent Yeah. If, if it's why balancing a game is actually really, really hard. <laughs> I yes, yes, I I could not agree more. It's a lot more factors than you expect. Yeah. And I just remember seeing some guy. Uh, actually, I think it was Kuragana Hammer. Like, downloaded a mod that was just several buffs and uh, it said, you know, people really don't know how to map patch a game because <laughs> yeah. he went Jigglypuff up tilt, up air, up air, rest. It was like yeah. this is not that's not balanced. It just yeah, that's its own rant. But. We're going to go to Dreamland, and Vex is actually going Donkey Kong here. Interesting. So. No, no, interesting. Vex loves Dreamland as Donkey Kong. He loves having those uh, that lower ceiling relative to the platforms True, to get those yeah. early ding-dong kills. And look at this. You might be saying, yeah, I might stay up there. Ooh. Might not be. Oh, and we have uh, we have an SD on the other end. Yes. So Vex, it looked like he had a missed input SD last game. Looks like Chaos decided to return the favor. Yep. It's only fair, but... It's only Nair, actually. Yeah, true enough. <laughs> But yeah, Vex has a stock lead, and when Vex has a stock lead, he likes to get pretty aggressive, actually. Yeah, he's... But this Marth is really spacing him out, so he might take a different approach. And chaos but really, he's probably content to just build up Rage. Yeah. Let me just get this Ding Dong kill. Move it quickly. Because Vex's matches with DK don't tend to last very long. So. <laughs> One way or another. But yeah, Chaos was Like, he could probably Ding Dong right now if he's on a platform. Right. F smash, not gonna do it yet. DK is fat. Second heaviest in the game for those of you who do not know. Ooh, love that. Ding. Ooh. No don't. Nope, not dead. Well, it was a ding dong, but not dead yet. Back air, we'll do it. And you were right, that was a very quick match. Yep, yep. They they often don't take longer than two minutes. No. Win or lose, Vex's DK matches tend to go pretty quick. That was good to see. So now we'll see if we get a response from Chaos. Is he gonna go Bowser here? Which I, of course, would love to see. Absolutely. I love Bowser. But 
as a character. I just wish he was. I wish he could get on the damn stage. <laughs> It'd get on the esports stage. Oh yeah. <laughs> like, uh, it's a struggle. All these humans and human. The struggle things. with the juggle. Yeah. Get that turtle up there. <laughs> hey, there we go. That's yeah. what I like to see. Battle of the big bodies in Winter Semis, and we're going to Battlefield, which is of course the largest stage. But these guys kill early. They don't care. Big blast zones, big characters. Let's go. Oh and my! Oh my God! That move goes so far. I had no idea it could go that far. That's insane. That's actually ridiculous. And oh, and, and is Vex gonna put on a clinic right now? That was a good air dodge to escape that combo. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Vex actually oh. likes to go for down air there because it will go through the platform if they're trying to, you know, try stuff from underneath. All right. Not sure if jab was the ideal punish out of that, but it's a fast enough move. Uh. Oh. Oh. oh wow. He didn't tech that. You now I don't understand that that looked really close, but you absolutely have the ability to tech the yeah. uh, the pivot uh, cargo down throw yeah. into the stage. That's it's just, just the window is very small. Yeah, but it's just a call out because, you know, if you know it's going to happen, you have no excuse to not tech there. Absolutely. Anyway, so Chaos. I love Chaos's Bowser, but I feel like I've seen him just die really early a number of times. Anyway, great snap to the ledge there. I have SD'd so many times yeah. <laughs> in tournament <laughs> missing, <laughs> that, uh, missing that platform there. My heart does a little a little skip every time I see that move start up near the yeah. ledge. It's more so just because like the way the camera angles, but that's the yeah. issue. So anyway, Vex has a big lead right now. He's got a stock at 30%. He can do whatever he wants. Mm -hmm. He went for the shield damage there. Mm -hmm. Now you do want to get from underneath. Uh, get, you don't, you don't want to be above Bowser. No. Because he has uh, he's that up smash that's invincible on the shell that you pretty much can't punish. Yep. He has that up tilt that'll cover the whole platform. He's basically a moving spike wall. Exactly. And more importantly, he has auto cancel fair and bear, which are both extremely strong moves. Ooh, yes. I love that jab and the grab. The Koopa. Ooh. Not going to do it just yet. All right, good fire breath. All right, down angled F tilt trying to two frame there. Ooh. Nice. He can land yeah. on the top platform, able to kill Vex a lot earlier with the Koopa Claw. That being said, he has 100%, but Bowser is fat. He's not going to die early. <laughs> that being said, he, he's probably in ding dong range, actually. All right, good fire breath. Well, actually, not really. It's not as good as Charizard's. Uh, it's not. It's not oh, as safe. To get the two oh, I, yep. I love the option when you're shielding and you have a command grab. Yep. You can see the opponent shielding from a shark opportunity. It's free. All right, Nair. That's your, that's their most damaging option. That does 24 percent when fresh. Wow. Yeah, just the Nair, not even the up throw. But nope, still living. And they both have such horizontal. Uh, I get nervous recoveries. every time Bowser recovers high. They have Ooh. such horizontal recoveries that, like, they can recover from the sides of yeah. the battlefield easy. Well, Bowser has deceptive vertical range on his recovery. Because if you mash the button, you'll actually go a little bit higher. I love it. Wait for the up tilt. That's what Vex does so often. You see he reads a neutral get up. It also covers the roll if they decide to do that. Um, obviously, your best option there is actually get up attack, but that's typically your worst option. Just you don't often think to do it. Yeah. It also covers jump, I believe. So, really well done by Vex in those last two games. Hey, he does an SD and he wins pretty solidly. So well done. The next moves on to winners.